Good luck Hindi, sa inyo. Ganun yun. Good luck kasi ang galing ko. Ganun yeah. yun. Yung kumpiyansa ng Polly. Here we go. Maya. Missing his first three attempts. And it's all about rhythm in this competition as we've known, Carlo. Extra important, of course, are those colored balls. Dahil uh, doble po yung puntos na maitatala niyan. And it's not about what we see. Going through, it's about kailan sinasabi ng referee na counted ang three-pointer mo. Siyempre, sinecheck din po ng referee, no? Kung nakatapak pa talaga uh, beyond the three-point line bago gawing legal yung three-point make. That's a good rack. And those are extra balls, yung uh, extra colored balls dito for Jeremiah. Was he able to take advantage of him heating up in that middle rack as he is liking this left side? Maya looking at the, up at the clock. Maraming oras through this final rack. He can take a sweet time. And with still eight seconds remaining, shot, he runs uh -oh. all the way back to the bonus ball. Nawala yung rhythm uh -oh. niya doon, uh -oh. Doon siya nasira. Hindi niya na itira kanina. Yun lang yung additional challenge, Magu, nung ikaw yung una. Di ba? Ikaw yung gagayahin. So everyone after that will know exactly where to go. We'll know exactly what to do. 18 points is the official score. Para dito kay Jeremiah Gray. Which leads us to the shotgun. R.K. Ilaga and the Blackwater Bossing making his debut in this competition. Yung uh, challenge lang dito siguro para kay, Je para kay R.K. Ilaga is he takes it with a jump shot. No? Jump shooter itong si uh, R.K. And we know that jump shots take a little bit more time. Mas matagal uh, mag uh, gear up for shots. And with two extra balls, Magu, with two extra colored balls, eh lalong hahaba yung oras na kailangan mo to just put up shots and finish this entire circuit. Ilagan though, knocking down two of his first three. Misses on the money ball though. But you see it starting to catch his rhythm here. That's three in a row before that miss. Sayang lang, hindi pa nahuli yung money ball. From top of the key now. RK. Starting to stroke it again. You're gonna need two runs yeah. in this uh, competition. Uh, you wanna get one early and somewhere down around here. Pero hindi pa makuha ni RK yung tamang tempo, no? As he is down to only six balls to try and catch up to the 18. Itong si Jeremiah Green, which will be the mark right now. As he was the first shooter, 17 seconds to try and put up four more shots. Pumasok yan. The next one is also good. RK Ilagan heating up late. Will that be enough to overcome the 18? Itong si uh, Jeremiah. As we will wait for our official count. Kinapos dito si RK Ilagan, only 16. But, malay mo naman, good enough na yan just to make it to the final round. Yep, we're looking for our top three, no? Hinahanap po natin ang ating top three. So, so far, dahil dalawa pa nga lang, those will be the marks. 18 for Jeremiah Gray and 16 for RK Ilagan. Siyempre, magu kasama dito sa importanteng decision-making is saan mo ilalagay yung money ball rack mo, di ba? Saan mo... Uh, tingin, so where do you think you are, you know, the you have the best shot at completing it? Kanina nakita natin, parehong left quarter court, yung money ball rack ngayon naman, right okay, quarter nice. court, oh, para kay Balanza. It's gonna be the second rack para dito. Okay, Jerry. Of course, Balanza representing the Converge Fiber Extra Series. He's got 22 three point makes total this season. Walo. Dito sa conference natin sa Governor's Cup. Finally making a basket is Jeric Balanza. Kita mo naman, but yun dun nilagay talaga. No? Mag mas maganda yung bitaw niya, mas maganda yung porcento coming from that rack. As he got two money balls to go down, missing on this one though. Nagsa struggle ngayon, ito si Jeric Balanza. Pero magu yun lang yung hirap, no? Pag masadong maaga yung money ball rack mo. Sometimes it, it will take some shooters, some shots to really get going. Dahil hindi naman, uh, hindi naman mahabang warm up yung nagawa mo before the start 
of your competitions. As he's running low on time, no? Mabagal yung release dahil jump shooter nga rin itong si Balanza. Earlier, itong si RK Ilagan had 18 seconds to complete the final rack. Ngayon, nasa 7 seconds na lang. Pa-start pa, pa lang sa last rack niya si Derek. So it has not gone according to plan para kay Balanza here in the city of Pasi. He will limp his way. To a pretty substandard 11 point output here, Carlo. And now coming up is the lethal weapon, Paulie. Great number so far for Paulie here in this conference 38.7%, 36 of 93 from the three point distance. In terms of mix, siya yung may pangalawang pinakamarami sa ating field of 12 today. Just second to Wami Chong Son's 37 mix in the Governor's Cup. Wally electing to start from that right side. It looks like his money ball rack will likewise be on that right wing, Carlo. Gumagawa ng final adjustments dito sa lethal weapon. You're allowed to, eh, di ba? Kung saan mo gustong uh, nakukuha yung bola. As long as it's just minor adjustments, the rack will stay in that general vicinity. As of now, as of this moment, 11 is the number to beat. Lee, locking down his first. And comes up with only two points on his first rack. You know, Poli is not a quick shooter. It takes him a while to gather. So, porcentuhan ang lalaban dito ni Poli as he will try to maximize this money ball rack. Six points. So far, unofficially, para kay Poli. Make that nine. From straight away. You know that's one of his sweet spots, Carlo. We've seen it through the years. Oh, wow, what a rack from the lethal weapon. Di lang makuway, mga bonus. But here he goes again. Three. Lead out the lead. 19 in total unofficially. And he's got all kinds of time to take care of the final rack. That's a 22. <laughs> Para dito, hey, Paul Lee. Top mark as of the moment, Paul Lee. You know, yung pinanghihinayangan niya yung mga money ball na minintis niya, but that was still an impressive performance coming from the lethal weapon. Yung sakit na, eh, maximize na maximize talaga yung mga attempts from that distance from the lethal weapon. 22 para dito sa angas ng tondo, followed by 18 from Gray, 16 from Ilagan, and 11 from Balanza. So that makes it official. Hindi na po aabante itong si Jeric Balanza into our final stage because we will only be getting the top three shooters among these 12 gentlemen. You know, Paul Lee shot has never been textbook magu. And you can say the same about Aaron Black as well, but all, all that's important is that those shots go in. Yun lang talaga yung ating pinaglalabanan. Aaron Black shooting 40.5% from the three-point range for Meralco here in the Governor's Cup. 15 of 37 in total. That right side not being kind to AB just yet. Until then... He gets three points off that corner. At least he gets three points, those final two balls. AB trying to salvage this money ball. And he goes to the long bonus. There you go, he gets the three. Yung malalayo pong yun ay nasa dalawang malayo. Three points worth yan, kaya napaka-importante makuha rin. Parang nagkamali sa pagpulot ng bola itong si Aaron Black. Inuna niya yung money ball in that rack. I don't know how the referees will count it. As AB converts on that second money ball. Kinount pa rin as one. It's gotta be the fifth ball eh. Just a regular rack. 13. He is through to the top three. But you wanna solidify your stand there. Uh-oh. Sayang yung money ball rack. 0-5 from there. 10 seconds to clear this. 
Nako ng lamig si AB. He needed that last one. That puts him in second place. Oh, that puts him in third place, sorry. Good middle sector from Aaron Black. But the struggles from his money ball rack, dun talaga siya nasaktan, no? Dun ka kasi babaan ko talaga. But you can get as many as 10 points from Ron Rack. Was not able to maximize any of them. So far, the top three will feature Lee, Gray, and Black. 17 yung kay Black, so that'll be the number to beat, Carlo. RJ Ilagan also not advancing into our final stage with only 16. Now, Kevin Alas is the next shooter for the end. Let's show the Warriors. Kevin Alas has been tremendous for his squad as well with 45 for 8 shooting from the three point range, 22 of 48 in the Governor's Cup. Will that cost him? Kita mo yung pag ikot ni Kevin all the way to the back of the rack. That might cost him a second or two. Let's see. In the end, umiikot siya all the way around, Carlo. Pero mabilis-bilis naman yung release nitong si Kevin Alasas. It looks like he might have enough time to complete the entire circuit. Maganda yung shooting from top of the key. This is his game shot. You see, it comes all the way down from his waist. Kaya hindi natin alam kung uubra to sa isang three-point shooting contest. But he's here to prove us either kung tama ba o hindi. Pero ngayon, kailangan niyang uminit from his money ball rack. He has only made one. Ooh, that's tough. 20 Making seconds only to. one. 20 seconds to. He knew he had time. Inusog muna niya. Mukha napaganda, ha? Napaganda yung pagbuhat dun, ha? Hindi lang nakuha yung mali, Carlo. He could have tied for third place. Rush the shot. Minadali nitong si Kevin Alas. Six more to go. But so far, ito ang ating standings. Polly leading everyone with 22 points. Kasama niya sa top three, Jeremiah Gray with 18. Aaron Black with 17. Yes, they've already eliminated RK Ilagan, Jerick Balanza, and Kevin Alas. Arvin Tolentino, one of the best big man gunners in the PBA today. Again, 17 is the number to beat just to get yourself in the top three. 40% shooter in the Governor's Cup. Ito si Arvin Tolentino. He has uh, tried 40 times to shoot from a downtown, making 16 of them so far. Arvin slowing himself down after that miss. Instead, you need to gather yourself. You know, what magmadali. Oh, that money ball is good. Ito na, yung money ball rack. The all-important money ball rack for Arvin Tolentino. So far, it is failing him until that third one. He's starting to look good here, Carlo, halfway through the course. Pero yung oras, no? Mamumukhang magiging problema nitong si Arvin as he hits another money ball. He's in the top three. That puts him in so second place, third. 20, he needs two to tie for the lead. One. Yun lang yung sayang na ubusan ng oras itong si Arvin Tolentino. And you called it halfway through, medyo mabagal yung pace, but it is still good enough for solo second place. He was able to heat up midway through his performance. No? Mintis yung unang dalawang tira from his money ball rack. But he was able to recover. Yung maganda rin, yung mga extra money balls. Eh, sinulit itong si Arvin Tolentino. Does not usually shoot from that distance, di ba? Yung mga three points ito are very close to the line. But showing us he can also extend his range. Dito na uminit ng tuluyan itong si Arvin Tolentino getting three money balls straight away. This rack was also solid for him. Unfortunately, no? Kita mo yung oras. 10 seconds to shoot five balls. Hindi na talaga sapat yan. Para kay Arvin still, he's in a decent situation at second place. Tyler Dio, Phoenix Super LPG up next. This guy, of course, burst onto the scene. Knocking down five triples in his first ever PBA game. How about the second rounders of Phoenix Super LPG all in our skills challenge? Tyler Tio three point shootout. Yung dalawang kakampinya, Chris Lalata and Angel Serrano, makikita naman natin mamaya in the slam dunk competition. Tyler Tio 30.4%, 17 of 56 in the Governor's Cup. 
He said shot the Tyler might cost him a lot of time in the end, but he's making sure. Mina maximize naman niya kahit hindi ganun kabilis yung pace niya. Ganda nung bitaw talaga no nitong si Tyler Tio that stroke looks pure and this top of the key should be good for him. At eto yung pagkakaiba yung focus ni Tyler. He sees the ball through bago niya pulutin yung next one. Hindi katulad na iba pag 3 point contest, pag bitaw, umaabot na. Pero yung problema nga rin niya dito, tulad dito si Arvin Tolentino, mukhang masusort sa oras, he'll have to rush through this rack. Tyler still taking his time. He doesn't care kahit maubo siya sa last rack. As long as makakuha niya dito. But now he realizes it. He picks it up. He needs a couple of these. Oh, no. oh sayang, mapipitin. Tyler Tio comes up short. You know, in terms of percentage, mataas-taas yung kay Tyler. But again, uh, not enough opportunities, not enough time to complete our entire circuit. Decent start for Tyler from uh, the right corner. As he went on, again, masyadong matagal uh, yung uh, oras na ginugol per shot attempt nitong si Tyler Tio. All of these young guns who keep getting knocked out this early, Carlo, if and when they come back to the three-point contest, you just know, with the experience they're garnering here, mas matinig to next year. Kasi hindi mo naman makapractice to ng buo eh, di ba? No one was able to practice this entire circuit in its completion here, and, here today. And even if you practice this, when the bright lights are on, when the crowd is in the building, nag-iibang bitaw mo, Carlo. Itong si Mamuyak, tignan natin, no? He takes the shot, very high. Kita mo, puro risk action, good. First rack for Mamuyak. Mamu, as I like to call him, starting to struggle here. Yung malas pa, yung uh, money ball rack. Doon siya nahirapan. Na si only came up with one make from his money ball rack. Oh, but he takes care of the triple. Mamu, trying to make up for lost time here. He's halfway through the goal of 18. Jeremiah Gray on the bubble down. Well, Again, it's up. Paul Lee number 122. Arvin Tolentino with 21 and Jeremiah Gray with 18. Mamuyak starting to struggle. He had a very strong start, Magu. Pero ngayon, meron pa siyang oras to try and get back into it. Mahaba to, 15 seconds to the last rack. The corners are his favorites. Uh-oh. Just couldn't get enough to them to stick. Sayang lang yung unang tira nitong si Mamuyak from that corner. It was waved off dahil nakatapak siya sa linya. No? Kita mo yung referee saying it was not a good make. Still, decent performance coming from Mamu of the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters. It will not be enough though to challenge for a top 3 spot. Coming up next though. One of the deadliest in the history of the game. The eighth all-time three-point Makers sa kasaysayan ng ating pambansang liga, Super Marshall Lasseter of the San Miguel Beer. Ito, sanay na sanay na to, Carlo. Yep. Sukat na sukat na nitong si Marcio Lasseter. Best finish in the three-point shootout was actually fourth back in 2012 in Lawag City behind guys like Mark Makapagal who was a champion, Casey Canaleta, and Josh Urbistondo. Marshall taking care of the bonus. Here comes the three ball. Doesn't work though. Yung lagi natin sinasabi, iba siguro yung magiging performance ni Marshall pag uh, pinapaso sa kanya ni Chris Ross yung mga bola bago niya itira eh. Well, look at this. He's about to clean up the top of the key. Nagmintis ka lang ng isa, but that was a pretty good one. And this made it even better. He's up to 15. Oh, good numbers. With two more racks remaining for Marcio Lasseter. 18, the number to beat. He's tied for third. Oh he boy. Gets himself to 20. Napitawan yung una. Shakes it off. Marcio is now on the lead. Lasseter, one last money ball. Oh, that's good. Marcio Lasseter burning the net. Dito sa City of Pasi. Oh boy. Marshall. 
He has come to play, Carlo. He's not messing around. Taking care of business. Shumimi Shake. Shumimi Shake. Because he was hit by the first ball, so he had to gather himself. But when he calmed himself down, ito yung puri money ball na pinaulan ito si Marcio Lasseter as he takes the lead. Asinan mo, baby! <laughs> Marshall Lasseter lighting it up with 28. And now, the number to beat becomes 21. Yep, tumakas bigla, no? Jeremiah Gray eliminated with that last performance coming from Marcio Lasseter. Lasseter, Paul Lee, Tolentino, currently our top three mago. Coming up next, though, the number one three-point shooter of the conference 37 makes for Wami on 46% shooting. Here he goes. Wami slow to start off in his performance. 47, sorry, 46% shooter from the three-point range. The young governor's cup. The three ball for Wami is good. Ang laki talaga na nadadagdag yeah. sa'yo na yeah. makahabang tira na yun. Si Wami naman parang mas gagaling pag may nakadepensa sa kanya. May asintahan itong si Wami Chong Son. Just like Marshall Lasseter though. His all money ball rack will be the last yep. one. Yep. Pero doon sa kanan si Marshall sa kaliwa. So pwede kang humabul talaga no? If you take care of business with your money ball rack. Oh he is heating up here. Wami Chong Son has got fire officially. He needs one to tie and one to take third place. There it is. And he overtakes Bali for second. He's not done. He's not done, Magu. 26 Paradito. Kewami just one money ball away from Marshall. And this will put Paul Lee on the bubble. Officially eliminating Arvin Tolentino from contention sa ating three-point shootout. But, but look who's next. Pero bago natin pag-usapan yung paparating. How about Rami Chong Son struggled in the first two racks. But that three-point shot got him going. No? Nakita niya pumasok yung malayo, yung mahirap na tira. E ginanahan lalo itong si Wami as he made it rain in his final two racks to, to claim the current top two spot. Wami Chong Son officially puts himself in the finals together with Marshall Lasseter. Ang tanong na lang, si Poli ba makakasama nila? O manggugulo si RR Pogoy? 51.1% ang three-point shooting nitong si RR Pogoy. 23 of 45 as he will be the 12th and final shooter here today. Bogs gets going. Good start. Make that even better. Make that the best. Roger Ray taking care of the first four. Oh my God, this huh? guy's on a mission, Carlo. Is it Bogdanovich? Ma init ang simula. Only missing one shot so far. Unfortunately, he is missing the money ball oh. as he converts on that triple. What a torrid pace, Paradito. Okay, R R. Starting to slow down though. And he gathers himself up again. 13. 13. Yep, not really his area as Pogoy misses the three point shot again. He's got all kinds of time though to try. Ito yung importante yung money ball rack ni Pogoy. Two of two so far. 22 the number to beat. Uh oh. 19. Yep, this has a chance for Pogoy, but he'll have to rush a little bit. Three to tie. Two to tie. He One needs it tie. for the tie. Oh! Roger Ray comes up one short. Yan yung masakit for RR Pogoy. He was close to perfection in those first two racks. He was 8 of 10, Mago. Unfortunately, those two misses were money ball misses. Roger, oh, yung simula, eh, no? Grabe yung pace. Unang apat na regular ball, pasok, money ball mindis. Pagdating dito sa sunod, ayun na naman, unang apat pasok. 
na ang sakit talaga pag yung money ball, as you mentioned. Kung pumasok lang sana yung mga money ball nitong si R.R. Pugoy, he would have been in the finals kahit tabla lang sana sila ni Paul Lee, no? Give himself a shot at making it through as the fourth person. Na, you, 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 you tie, you're in. Hindi na sila mag-shoot yep, out yep. no? But Pugoy, during that last rack, needed one. Needed this last one to go down. It did it at hindi na siya. Naka, nagkaroon pa ng possibility to take that last money ball. Frustrated finish for RR Pugoy. And the finest three of them all, Mr. Pamintuan, have made it through to the finale. Bolli, 39%. Marshall Lasseter, 39%. Hindi lang pang laro, pang shootout din ang skills ng tatlong mamang ito. And it's only fitting that they will close out the show here. We promised you, kokoronahan natin ang pinakamatinik na mga shooter natin today. These three, definitely well representing everybody who likes putting up threes. Now, Poli starting to heat up in that rack. He will try from his favorite distance. Comes up a little short. Straight away threes now for Paul. That puts him in double digits. He's got a lot of time. More than half a minute remaining here, and he's starting oh. to try and slow down a bit. Wow, a perfect middle rack. Oh! Bonus is good. 21 about a ball. 28 yung na score ni Mar ni Wami. Wami ni Marshall kanina. Paul can take his time here. 27 for Lee. Very high bar, Magu. Money ball is a miss. But my goodness, Paul Lee. Hot start to our final round in our three-point competitions. Ang angas ng tondo. Nagpapaulan sa City of Pasi. Dito sa Iloilo. You gotta love it, Carlo. The best of the best going at it. And up next... Naka t-shirt pa si Poli. Hindi man lang nagtagal ng warmer. Yes, he did not need to get warmed up. He was hot from the start. This is where he really got going. No? In the second rack, talagang dyan siya pumuhunan. He might have missed that first three-point shot, but he was perfect from the middle. Tignan mo yung Poli, oh. Ang layo sa linya. He is taking it from where he was most comfortable. And 28 is the official score. Ni Poli for his final appearance. Oh, that's gonna be a hard target to beat. Si Marshall, 28 yung in-score kanina ng prelims. Etong si Wami Chongson, 26. Bolly tying. Sirigaan Misi and Aris Jonisho. And now, Marshall Lasseter will try to beat the numbers set by Bolly. Ooh, horrible first attempt. But you know, Marshall, madaling madali sa kanya to make up for it. May silaw factor yata dun sa konting uh, Bumababa ni Haro eh. Kanina wala yun eh. But good thing Marshall got out of that pocket already. Oh, here we go. Lassiter with seven through two racks. Couldn't get the bonus to drop. Uh, taking his time. Not rushing through things now. Super Marshall gets to 11. He needs this three ball. Oh, Won't no. get it. He's got a lot of making up to do. Uh -huh. his, his bonus uh -huh. rack, though, yung lahat, eh, worth two points, eh, yung huling huli po. And he's got a lot of time, Carlo. Dunya to subuang hapule, no? But, oh boy, he doesn't make it. So even if this rack is perfect, hindi na niya abutin itong si Paul Lee. Hanggang 23 na lang ang magiging target ang uh, total dito. So it will be up to Wami. Marshall Lester ends the finals with 21. Still gotta love it. 28 in the prelims. 21 in the finals. Ano kaya ang dadali naman ni Wami? Marshall Lasseter ring talagang kakatakutan mo, eh, di ba? Tinan mo naman yung Marshall Lasseter, no? We have to applaud his efforts. I mean, uh, competing in the Governor's Cup, flying to Japan to play for in the EASL, flying back, joining our All-Star festivities. 
you know, he might not have had enough rest, but nandito pa rin siya, no? to try and show off his skills and entertain the PBA fans, not just here, but watching on TV as well. So here we go. We've got a minute to decide. Si Poli na nga ba ang bagong three-point champion? O oh, si Wami ba? Eh, si Silatin pa siya dito. Kayong huli nating three-point shootout champion? We will find out in the next minute and 15. Wami gets his finals going. No count on that first yeah, one. Yeah. I saw the referee wave it off. Nice stepping out as Iwami doon. Sinesenyas nga, stepping. So minus one. Kailangan ng uminit dito ni Wami. But earlier on, dun sa kanyang uh, first performance, eh hindi rin naman maganda yung nag-uumbisa niya, no? So let's see if he can still recover. He needs the center rack. He needs the top of the key, Carlos. Six points pa lang siya dito. Oh, no! Oh, things now starting to look bleak for Wami Chong Son, even if he makes that one. And you see Paulie start to get some hugs here. Premature ba yun? Makakahabol pa to? That money ball rack is last. So, kailangan niya ng 20, nung 19 at least after the end of this rack. And he will not be able to get there. Paul Lee will win it. Will be our top gunner in the All-Star Weekend. Wami Chongson just finishing out this rack. But it is Paul Lee who will become the three-point king of 2023. Ang angas ng tondo, the lethal weapon, tirador na rin ng City of Pasi. How about Paul Lee? Dun sa warm-up round, dun sa elimination round, had 20 team, 22 points, but elevating his game in the finals. Wami Chong Son, decent effort, you know. Unfortunately, that bad start, he was not able to turn it around. So Paul Lee will win it. The 28 that Paul Lee put up early in the finals, that puts a world sure. of pressure on your shoulder, Carlo, if you're sure. following him. Lalo nung lalo na iniisip mo yung 28, tapos nagbintis ka ng tatlo apat na maaga, alam mong hindi na sasapat eh, alam mong hindi na uubra, mahirap nang makahabol. So in back-to-back -back editions, ng ating TV All-Star Weekend, a player from the Magnolia Chicken Templado Hot Shots is crowned king of the three-point game. May pamblow out itong si Poli sa lahat ng barkada niya dito sa Iloilo. Barkada ba natin ito? Kasama ba tayo sa barkada niya? Of course, PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall with some of the members, some of our Board of Governors, Governor Eric Arejola there, Governor Pamintuan of Meralco, Governor Chito Salud, of course, Governor El Francis Chua, Governor Bobby Rosales, Governor Rod Frank of NLEX also joining us, but it is Paul Lee with 28 points, overcoming Marcio Lassiter's 21 and Wami Chongson's 18. You gotta love it. Siyem pinaka konti yung points, getting into the finals. Muntik pa siyang madislodge ni RR Pogoy, o masamahan dyan. Pero si Paul Lee made the most of it, and when it counted most, at siya ngayon, eh, kasama ni Denise. 28 puntos yung nakuha ni Paul Lee para maging hari ngayon ng three-point shooting out contest. Paul, kanina, bago tayo magsimula, bumulong ka pa, medyo kinakabahan ka. How did this all uh, go down? Uh, yes, totoo yun. Kasi ang hirap pala ng ano, na ikaw lang shoot tapos lahat ng tao nakatingin sa'yo. Compare sa laro, uh, parang instinct lang yung nangyari. So, medyo kinakabahan talaga ako kanina. Pero sinetal down ko lang, nirelax ko lang yung sarili ko, parang inisip ko lang na nagpa-practice na ako. Partida sa'yo, kinakabahan ka pa. Naka-t-shirt, hindi man lang nagtanggal, mas malayo pa yung mga binibitawan mong tira. That was what you were comfortable with. Oh yes, uh, yung sa finals nga, inatras ko ng konti kasi nung unang, unang round, medyo malapit ang lalakas ng tira ko. So doon ako sa comfortable. Gusto, gusto mo yung mas mahirap? Hindi naman, doon lang tayo sa comfortable tayo. Okay, kanina may na-mention mo rin, it, si Manong is somebody who helped you so, nung nagsastart ka pa? Ah, uh, yes. Ito pala si Papa Hen, yung sa Rainer Shine. Uh, siya yung tumutulong sa akin every morning. Uh, Nag-shooting kami lagi doon bago yung practice. And then, of course, binabati ko yung uh, drills coach ko, si Nicola Chua. And uh, yung mga 
yung mga ano, tumulong sa akin every morning sa shooting drills yan. Kanina, sabi mo, si Nicolo yung may kasalanan dahil do sa video mo ngayon. Siya ulit yung may kasalanan kasi nanalo eh. Na-pressure ka kasi. Oo, oh, na-pressure ako. Oh. May gusto kang sabihin sa mga taga-passi ngayon na nag-cheer sa'yo? Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa fans dito ng PBA sa Pasi Iloilo. Uh, salamat sa mainit ninyong pagtanggap sa amin and uh, sana nag-enjoy kayo ngayon and uh, sa mga susunod pang araw. So yun, again, thank you po sa inyong lahat. Congratulations again po.